The Brave Warriors faced off against Seychelles in their final Group C match, while Group C winners Angola played against Lesotho. Striker Bethwell Mudeu scored from a penalty spot after Romeo Kasume was fouled in the first half. The Brave Warriors went into halftime leading 1 0. Blue Waters forward Erastus Kulula added a stunning goal early in the second half before Mudeu scored again, making it 3 0. Produce some chaos. There's a big chance for Namibia. Kulula! That's number two for the Namibians. And they are on course. Seychelles. Mudeu! And it's a goal! It almost took an eternity. Favorable bounce. Seychelles pushed back in the final minutes, managing to score a consolation goal, but it was too late to change the outcome. We have to be, um, we have to be good with the three points, um, the win. Of course, it can always be better, and uh, but at the moment with uh, tournament football, it's fine. We move. Let's talk about the positives from this encounter. What did you pick up that we will be keeping going into the next round? I think the, the young boys that they got a chance, uh, they brought in a little bit of life, uh, wanting to play the ball, but also at the, at the score of 3 0, it's kind of like a little bit easy. So the playing time that they got, I think that's sort of positive. And I think for us to score three goals, that's sort of really a good thing. And um, obviously, that builds confidence, and the confidence is what we need going into the next matches. This victory means Namibia finished second in Group C, tied on points with Angola and advance to the semi-finals as the best second-place team. They will face the 2015 finalist Mozambique on Friday. However, the last time these two teams met was on the 15th of July 2022 in the same competition, and the Brave Warriors won the contest with a single goal scored by Bethwell Mudeu. But Friday's match promises to be different. In the other semi-final, Comoros will take on Angola. Michael Ditu, NBC Sport.